everybody and welcome back to another vlog. I'm Trucker Mike. Man, it's cold outside. I am here in Schenectady, New York. How the hell you pronounce that? I just got fuel at the pilot exit 25A off of 90, which is the first exit once you get on 88. So here where Railex is at, which I don't think we haul from Railex anymore. And if you do, it's a live load because we don't have any drop trailers there anymore, from what I hear. But anyway, got fuel. And I'm over here at Price Chopper getting a washout. I got to go down to New Berlin, New York, which is like an hour and a half from here to pick up at Chibani going to Du Bois, Pennsylvania, which is off of 80. Um, now, one thing I want to point out... Uh, to you guys now you experienced drivers probably already know this but for you new drivers that watch my videos um, it's winter time you yeah, had already figured that out now where I'm currently at it's eight degrees outside and so I want to stress on treating your fuel tanks with anti-gel now <clears throat> I use house I don't care what road assist says I've been using house ever since I started driving trucking never had any gelling issues whatsoever in my 21 years of driving using house now last winter i used that stuff that prime sold for like five dollars a bottle the little tiny bottles first time i used that i was in nebraska and my fuel filter gelled up i had to get a service done which i was due for service anyway so it worked out great but from that point on, I never used it. I put it in their trailers, but I would not put that stuff in my truck ever again. I have gone back to house. I've been using it ever since. Uh, now, when it gets really cold, now, let me back up. <clears throat> at about, at 32 degrees, um, I think, or at 20 degrees or 25, anyway, Diesel fuel starts to crystallize. Now, if, if you've noticed, like, if you look on your fuel cap or even on the trailer, you see, like, little snowflake symbols and everything. That's crystallized. That's diesel fuel crystallizing. Okay? At 10 to 15 degrees is when diesel starts gelling up. Now, it's currently 8 degrees. Where I'm picking up, it's 10 degrees right now. Where I'm delivering to is 8 degrees. So, what I do... Now, when it gets into the 20s or whatever, I'll just put one thing of house in my, you know, if I'm getting like 50 gallons or whatever, I'll put it in my driver's side tank, fill my driver's side tank up, and while I'm driving down the road, it's mixing up and it's also transferring over into the passenger side tank. But when it gets down into the teens like it is, I'll put a whole bottle of it in one tank and another bottle of it in the other tank. Um... Now up here, I'm up upstate New York, they pre-treat their fuel up here. So I'm double protective, I guess. I got the treatment and the fuel, and then I put my own house in. Um, I did the same, I put, I treated my fuel when I topped off the other day when I was in um, Columbia, New Jersey. Um, where I delivered at last, or this morning, or last night, up in uh, Cox, uh, West Coxsackie, New York. It got really cold, but I didn't idle my truck. I ran my generator all night. I ran my truck for a little bit to get that fuel through the lines and, and make sure that, you know, it's all mixed in there and whatnot. And then I shut my truck off and then I slept the whole night with the generator going, with my bunk heater going. I was comfortable, it was warm. I got that new bunk heater in now and it works great fired my truck up this morning she fired right on up no problems whatsoever so it's very important that during this winter time if you're in cold weather in in the teens treat your fuel there's no such thing as too much anti-gel in your tanks okay it's when you don't have enough in your tanks is when you're gonna have problems now I'll keep I keep a bottle of I got a whole big bottle of, of uh, power service, I think it is 911. You know, just in case, you know, I do gel up, I got stuff to take care of it. So, anyway, treat your fuel. 
Now I plan on maybe this summer or before next winter I'm going to add tank heaters to my truck. Why Prime doesn't get them when they order these trucks is beyond me. It's an extra, I don't know, $800 or $1,000 to the price of the truck to get them factory installed. So worth it, in my opinion. I'd have gladly paid an extra $1,000 when I bought this truck for tank heaters. But nonetheless, I'm going to get them put on, so um, I won't have any problems since I have it. But just, you know, that saves me money in buying a house. But I'll probably still keep some on here just to get, you know. But uh, yeah, treat your fuel. Put anti-gel, you won't have any problems if you put enough in there. So anyway, we'll get my truck trailer, or blah, blah, blah. get my trailer washed out, and then I'm gonna go pick up this load. I've already got my fuel and everything at the pilot, and uh, it's supposed to snow there a little bit, about 2, 3 p.m. this afternoon. So I'm gonna get there before that, and uh, hell, I can sit there the rest of the day, leave out in the morning. I don't deliver till 8 o'clock tomorrow night in Du Bois, and it's only 300 miles to my destination. So I can do that tomorrow, no problem. So. Anyways, <clears throat> let's get this day started. I right, got my wash out. Let's head to New Berlin. I just got a wash out. It'll be white by the end of the day. Oops, missed the gear. It's a nice area up here. I just wouldn't want to live here. I don't mind coming to visit every once in a while. But too cold for me. I think they actually had or got a white Christmas this year. I think it snowed one day. I'm not sure. I wasn't here. I was in New Jersey. Still 
enough to mess up somebody's day. We're going to find out here in about 5 or 10 minutes whether or not my load's ready or not. Hey guys, got an update. My load is not ready yet. No surprise there. I was hoping it would have been ready because I'd have hooked up to it, taking my 30 minute break, and then got on down the road before this uh, light snow hits. But they don't even have a trailer in the door to load it. Matter of fact, it's starting to light snow now, just a tiny bit. But it's going to be a few hours before they can load me because there's like two, three, four trucks ahead of me that have priority status like me. And they were here first. So I have no problem staying here, taking a break here, leaving out in the morning. My load don't deliver till 8 o'clock tomorrow night. So that time of night I'm not going to do anything anyways. So I'll go deliver and... And then go to the Flying J truck stop after I get empty. I'll probably have to reserve me a spot. So when I get empty, I can just go there and park for the night. But that's all good. It's so nice to not have a truck payment anymore. To where you can just... Don't get in a rush to do anything anymore. I, I, have, I don't get in a rush. Or in a hurry. I have found that when you start getting in a hurry, bad things start happening. So I just take my time. So anyway, I'll keep you guys posted. And uh, or I may just be ending my vlog here for the day. Don't know yet. We'll see. Hey everybody. Alright. Update. They got me loaded. And um, I had just enough time Actually, I had about 15 minutes to spare. Sales changed. My original appointment was tonight at 8 o'clock. I knew I was going to make that. Then they changed it from 8 to 10. And by the time they got me loaded, I got my paperwork, did my live loaded call, and got on the road, I had about 15 minutes to spare. Like I was going to get there at like 9.45. So I'm hauling butt, and then they send me a new appointment. It's for eight o'clock tomorrow now, tomorrow night. So I made it here. I'm in Pittston at the terminal here at the yard. I am parked in the, uh, the section here in the back where you can stay hooked to your trailer. Thank God there's one parking spot and I grabbed it. So I want to chill out. I just got done eating supper I got here about 7 or 6 45 and the cafe closed at 8 so I was able to go in there and get me something to eat and uh, now I think I'm gonna go to bed because it's night it's cold outside it's 12 degrees outside but it's nice and warm in here I tell you what I love this new bunk here I got the new upgraded version with the digital readout and the twist thing and it it, it uh, 
12 degrees outside and I'm nice and warm inside my truck. And I got the APU going. And, uh, yeah. Yes, that is a Dr. Pepper wedged in my windshield. <laughs> Using the natural elements to, uh, Keep my drink cold. Works great. I haven't had one fall off yet, so uh, it'll be nice and cold in the morning, if not frozen. Because I probably should take it down. So, anyways, I am going to end my vlog here and uh, go to bed. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. You know you want to, just go ahead and do it. It would really help me out a lot and it'll help the channel out and, and whatnot. So anyway, I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.